Hi again. To better understand what your customers are asking for, your voice assistant must be contextual. In other words, it should conduct the dialogue taking into account what is currently going on in the app. In this video, you will learn how to let your voice assistant understand the app visual context and subsequently adapt its behavior to provide a more engaging and vibrant user experience. To capture the app context, we will use the visual state. That's Alan's functionality that lets you send any JSON object from the app to the voice script and then use this data in the dialogue with your customers. What can we get with the visual state in our app? We can capture the recipe data and send it to the voice script. After that, the user will be able to ask for step-by-step -step cooking instructions and cook hands-free while guided by the voice assistant. First, we need to send a JSON object from the app to the voice script. So we'll get started with the app this time. We'll head over to the recipe component. Here we need to have a listener for the focus event to understand when the recipe screen is displayed. We'll copy the code for the focus event listener from React Navigation Docs and add it to the recipe screen component. Next, we need to capture the information about the currently displayed recipe item and send it to the voice script. To send this data, we will use the set visual state client API method provided by Alan. Let's open integrations in Alan Studio, switch to the advanced section and copy the sample code for set visual state. We will paste it to our listener and replace the sample data with the recipe item shown to the user at present. To be able to call this method, we need to import native modules and add Alan Manager to our component. Now, when the recipe screen is in focus, the information about the current recipe item will be passed to the voice script. Switching to the voice script to check it. First, let's see whether this data really comes to the voice script. We'll use one of Alan's predefined callbacks on visual state. When the visual state is set on the website, we will write its data to Alan Studio Logs. Let's check it. With the recipe data at hand, we can add an intent to ask about the cooking instructions. We'll let Alan name the recipe title and read out the instructions provided in the description key. Let's try it with voice first. Open chicken fajitas. Opening a recipe for you. How do I cook it? To cook chicken fajitas. In a large bowl, combine two tablespoons oil, lemon juice and seasonings. Add the chicken. Turn to coat. Cover. And navigate to some recipe through touch and try asking again. How do I cook it? To cook triple berry smoothie. In a blender, combine all ingredients and blend until smooth. Then divide between two cups and top with blackberries, if desired. Great! Works in both cases. Now, let's make sure the user can ask for cooking instructions only when the recipe screen is open. To do this, we will update our object with a new key, screen, and pass the screen name in it. Let's also modify our home component to send information about the open screen from it as well. In the voice script, we will add a filter and wrap our intent in this filter. As a result, this intent will work only when the recipe screen is in focus and Alan will not be able to match this intent when the home screen is on. Let's test it. Open triple berry smoothie. Opening a recipe for you. How do I cook it? To cook triple berry smoothie. In a blender, combine all ingredients and blend until smooth. Then divide between two cups and top with blackberries, if desired. Go back. 
Going back home. How do I cook it? I can't answer this. The visual state can be really helpful in any situation where the dialogue turns depend on the app context. Try it yourself to create a contextual voice assistant for your app with Alan AI and subscribe to our channel to learn more.